Hello everyone, it's me again, not the Annie, I'm the cheeky one. So, for this week of the merry month of May, I'm picking her third palette. And I'm going to be nice to her this time. Instead of doing two palettes like I did last week, I'm only going to do one. So, I have picked the Face Candy Amazonia. And this one should be very fun for her. So, when she comes back, she'll get to open the box and see what I left for her. Bye. Alrighty. Let's see what the man has done to me. Yes, indeed. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is the Anne. We already had not the Anne. Ooh. Alrighty. Face Candy Amazonia. I'm going to have to shoot my husband. He didn't turn the light on. There. Better. Lights. Amazonia. And there is the palette. Now, I don't know what it looks like in his portion since it didn't look like he had the light on, so we'll have to see. But I'm going to take a couple of minutes, get myself together, and figure out what I'm going to do with this palette, and I'll be back. Alrighty. I still had some stuff on my face from earlier, so I've got that all taken off now. La 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 la. Well, at least I think most of it's taken off. Anyway. There we go. Relatively clean face. No, I'm not putting a bunch of stuff on it tonight. Because I'm not going to put a ton of primer and moisturizer and all that stuff on at this point. Because it's 8.26 in the evening Pacific time. Yes, I'm on the West Coast mostly. I'm on the interior of a West Coast state. How's that? I'm so far on the interior, I'm on the east side of it, almost to the point of being in the next state, going east. So yeah, I'm not that, I'm about four hours away from the ocean. Alrighty. Now, the eye primer that I put on is the Beige Ruby Kisses Eye Primer. As opposed to doing the Bright White this time. Now, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to do here. We shall see. Because there are some incredible colors in this palette. I have to figure out which ones I'm going to use. Now, one of the things that may be a little irritating, at least from my point of view, is some of the colors are very similar to that Aftershock palette that I used all last week. I mean, we've got a bright red, we've got, you know, a deep green, we've got that kind of thing going on. And I'm going, hmm, <clears throat> wait a minute, we didn't have a gr deep green in the Aftershock, we had a lot of blues. But there's also, there's a deep red in here, and the orange, and 
there's no, okay there's no bright yellow but there's still one of the colors is a bright gold that's called sunbeam that to me looks very yellow so I have to try and think of something that I can do that's going to be diff area now what I think I might do is I'm going to start with this kind of orangey brown down here in the bottom called passion fruit which is a matte and just kind of start sweeping it in just to see what happens with it now for those of you who like to follow the ipsy bags I don't norm I'm not doing a here I'm opening my ipsy bag kind of thing because there's a bunch of people who already do those and I'm just not that big on waiting and trying to film it while I'm trying to look at the stuff I got I just it just ain't me that much anyway this Farrah brush came out of the Ipsy bag and let me tell you it's a nice brush the fluffy ends a little bigger than I normally like to use at this point on my eyes but I like it too much to just leave it lay tap that on get going with the crease now if anybody has not been here before I have hooded eyes so anything that I put in the crease is going to disappear unless I carry it up quite a bit higher than the places my eyes show wrinkles for where it likes to fold. There. So I have to do this carry up so that when my eye folds when I open them wide so you can see my little eyeballs and I can see out there's still color that's going to show above my little wrinkled eyes see now I've got my mirror down here this is the top of my mirror here I've got my mirror down here but I've got it at an angle so that when I'm looking down into it putting stuff on I've got my eyebrows pulled up which kind of stretches things out so that I've got a chance to see the colors and figure out exactly how far I've come down and how far I've gone up. Now I try really hard to leave that little bit of real estate between the eyebrow and the top of where I draw the crease so that I've got some place to put an eyebrow highlight and it also doesn't look like that that older style of doing eye makeup which goes all the way up I'm trying to avoid that because that's not currently the style however I do like this passion fruit color very cool now the face candy palette I picked up before shop hush 
closed its doors and they were doing that great big sale and they had all the stuff marked down to like nothing just about even the stuff that was on clearance they marked down another 60 percent so i got this and the bad habit aura and a couple of others that i'm having a lovely time playing with because my honey bunny is picking out those particular um palettes for me to play with because yeah some of the rest of them are you know it's like everybody for the most part has seen most of the elf palettes and that kind of thing and most of my other palettes are kind of dull i got these because they were not dull Let's see, what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to take Toucan. Toucan is a rather lively, bright orange. I'm going to have to do some work on the video in post-production to get the lighting so that you'll be able to actually see how bright these colors are, not only in the pan, but on my eye. because these colors are pretty intense. And the Toucan is an orange corally shade. And none of this is going to go with the shirt. It just, no. Not going to go with the shirt. It just isn't. Now, I'm laying colors in to places and drawing it through just a little bit in kind of a halo eye shape. But let me tell you, I am not somebody who does fancy specific cut creases. I just don't. I just kind of am careful where the colors go and then put something interesting in the middle. Okay. Now, let's start on this side. Use what's left on there. Pick up some toucan. Start on this side. Now, this has got a bit of kick up in the pans. Not too bad, but a bit. I'm going to carry that down just a bit under the eye. Now I'm probably just going to use a dusting of powder over my face when I go to finish up the look. Because like I said, it's fairly late here and I'm just going to turn around and take this all off. here. I didn't color switch initially when I was going from this shade to 
the two can so use the color switch so I can go back to the passion fruit just a little bit put that right back there so it's not completely wandered off figure out what I'm going to put in the middle and I'm thinking what I'm going to put in the middle may be this kind of a coppery plummy red glitter called piranha so I'm thinking that might be what goes in the middle like I said I'm not going to match my shirt I'm not really even going to be something interesting to go with my shirt in particular. Okay, let me find. Aha! Ta ta da la ta! Ta da ta da ta da! Glitter primer. Must glitter primer. Must. If I'm going to put on that kind of glitter, I'm going to prime the glitter. Now, this is, is, it's not like it's real loose or anything, but if I'm going to do something that I'm going to insist on putting glitter primer on for, I'm going to... I'm going to really try and make sure it stays put. It's not like it's loose glitter or something like that. It's pretty well pressed glitter. But... This whole palette just calls for some bling, and if I'm going to make bling, I'm going to make bling. Alrighty. One little flat brush to put the glitter primer on with one little flat brush to put the glitter on with. Pat, pat, pat. Now, I said I didn't, don't normally do fancy cut creases, and this really isn't a fancy cut crease. But that glitter primer does have a bit of color to it, so it's probably about as close as I'm going to call doing a cut crease. I just am not big on cut crease. I always think trying to do a specific pattern of cut crease with my little foobar foldy eyes is kind of silly. Now I'm going to flip this little flat brush over and I'm looking at there's Sunbeam, which is that goldy yellow, and then there's Starbeam. That's another glitter in here. And I'm thinking that Starbeam 
is going to get a little play right down the center. Yeah. I think I'm liking that a little bit. Now there's a little bit of the star beam that's kind of wrapped in just a little bit. Went across the top of the across the top of the bristles of the brush. So it's kind of getting mixed in just a little bit where I'm tapping some more of that toucan around the edges so that we get a bit of a blend here. Which I'm not unhappy with. Okay, that's not that bad. I opened my eyes and I could still see some bling. I'm happy. That is a good thing. I like bling. If I'm going to bling, I want to see bling. Bling it a bling. Okay, let's start on eye number two. I'm getting my glitter glue going. Glitter primer. Glitter primer. Now, this is from a company called Handeon. I picked it up through Amazon. It was dirt cheap. Am I going to tell you to run right out and buy it? No. Am I going to tell you you can also get it on AliExpress? Well, yeah, kind of, since I just did. Um... It's a pretty good material. I like it. I haven't had any problems with eye irritation or anything like that while using it. There's you know, it's a 10 mil squeeze tube. I didn't have any problems getting it here. I did, you know, the little arm test to make sure I wasn't allergic to anything in it before I started putting it on. All that stuff. And it works. And like I said, it's got a little bit of color to it. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to, like, go dig out a heavy-duty concealer if you're not really trying to do a drastic cut crease kind of thing. Which is why I like it, because... Yeah, I'm not going through six layers of concealer and all that. Just not doing it. For one thing, I've got these crepey eyes. They're wrinkledy, they're crepey. And if you keep putting more stuff on them, the more stuff you put on them, the more likely you are to have the, the stuff build up to a point where it shows off the texture or it's too heavy for your eyelid. And then you've got, you know, just it looks nasty. Your eyelid doesn't do, doesn't look natural anymore. So, you know, you really just don't want to 
Now, if you hear any rustling in the background, that's because the hubby is doing things like feeding the puppies because they're pitiful and they need their food and they're pitiful. Just ask them. They'll tell you they're pitiful. So there's some rustling in the background and some clacking in the background and that kind of stuff. There. Now, I want to remind people, especially if they're new here, if you've got hooded eyes, the stuff that you put on your adorable eyes is going to transfer. See where this rolls back up? At some point you will start to notice that I have glitter going farther up my eye up above that crease. And that is because of the folds here. See, because every time I do that, I'm contacting that other portion of my hot lid with the, with the part that's got all that glitter and stuff on it. I'm taking a little more of that star beam and going under and put a little of it in that inner corner just for the heck of it. probably use the star beam for the brow highlight while I'm at it. Just because it's pretty. I likes it. Now this that I'm doing is dry. I'm not putting any primer on. I'm not spritzing it. So it's just a glimmer as opposed to getting all up in the heavy-duty flash. And if you look, you can see lower down on my face where some of the glitter has fallen out. Anyway, if you're using glitter, you might as well get ready for fallout. Yep. Fall out. Because it's coming. It is coming. black eyeliner. Yep. This was left sitting out on my table from earlier. So, yeah. I'm just grabbing it. Do as I say, not as I do. Do not pull your eye. I kind of have to because of all the excess wrinkles and if I don't stretch it out just a little bit I end up with tiger stripes because the felt tip on this eyeliner will skip over those wrinkles like a rock skipping over a lake so, if you do not already have wrinkles like this, it'll just make it worse.
and it'll start wrinkles like this. Once you get wrinkles like this, there is nothing you can do to get rid of them. And as you get older, they get bolder. No, I do not do a standard wing liner anymore because the fold that I have out at the edge here is so deep I can't even pull any of the tricks you know like Nikki Raven does her whale tail and that kind of thing. I've got too many wrinkles to try and pull that trick because it wrinkles all the way out to here. There is no real flat spot to put anything. La 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 la, little eyebrow, little eyebrow, brow, brow, brow. Make it look a little denser with the color. Again, I'm not going way ham. Now, one of the things that's driving me crazy with my eyebrows coming back in is this side is coming in way dark. In comparison, these hairs right here are way dark in comparison to these on this side. These are finer and not nearly, you know, not nearly as thick and not nearly as dark. And I'm going, all right, what the heck? It's almost like my face is two different peoples, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. Now, let's see. I've got my little tiny piece of a Sephora pencil. I ordered one of the Sephora play boxes that they had as a leftover. So I picked it out, they sent it, and in it was this tiny little shriveled up piece of a pencil. And I'm going, okay, it's a Sephora pencil, but dear God, could they have like fed it to Miracle World or something. Anyway, I've sharpened it once, once, that's it. So this is all you get on the sample for their pencil. However, it's a beautiful black pencil. a tight line a lot. I'm just going up in that corner just a little bit. Just to darken up that corner just a tad. gotten that far. I'm going to slip off of here for a second and I'm going to clean up around the edges and probably put a little powder on my face so I've got something to work with for to even the color out a little bit. Possibly put some blusher on. You know, it, I'm thinking this is looking pretty cute so I can go a little ways with it but I'll be back. All 
Alrighty. Well, I decided against just doing the powder and used my e.l.f. serum foundation, which is very lightweight and I absolutely love it. I used a little bit of my, sorry about that, Malibu Glitz and it's called Champagne, which technically according to Malibu Glitz, it's a blusher, but I use it for a very light bronzer. <clears throat> and I'm not putting any blush in particular on. However, I am using Golden Flower Crown from Wet n Wild. for the bling because we must bling must bling bling we must now this is a really really pretty highlighter It's another one of the champagne-y kind of colors. I love it. Who me? Want to blank? Nah, not me. keep reminding people I've got a little bitty nose and a very shallow bridge area and I wear glasses now I've got some falsies that I will put on on it during another look with this but the falsies I wear when I'm just showing off are fairly lengthy and the style is called Gaia and it's an AOA studio style that I pay a buck for but they've got quite a bit of length to them the ones that I use if I'm going to actually leave them on and wear my glasses because no I don't have contacts I'm hoping to do that, but, you know, it's been a long time since I've had contacts because I haven't really had any specific reason to have them for a long time. They were expensive and all of that. And I wasn't doing anything in particular, like lots of makeup and mascara and such, and eyelashes, that really made any difference. So, you know, I was wearing, just wearing glasses. I stopped getting contacts. But now, with doing all this, I'm looking into getting contacts again, at least for part of the time. Dun, dun, dun. Lashes. Now, you see all this eyelash? Yeah, I know. Hard to tell from, from here. I'll have to find a way to do it. But that Rimmel Eyelash Accelerator is working. That's where I'm getting the eyebrows, too. No, I am not sponsored by Rimmel. I paid for the eyelash accelerator all by myself. No, I am not sponsored by the company called Apto Skin Care that I use their spray on, which has been helping significantly with the texture on my skin. However, they sent me this as PR. So I did not pay for that one. 
Everything else I'm using, I paid for. Alrighty. Let's see. I can either use the lipstick pencil that I got out of the um, Gipsy bag. Again, I've been since I've gotten this and gotten it out, I've used it pretty much all day, every day since then. But I've got other stuff that also would work with this. I just don't know which one I want to use. Mm, no. Let's try this one. This one's called Honolulu Comb. It's a wet and wild piece. Now, I bought this one at the beginning of the year to go with that Pantone Color of the Year Living Coral. And I'm still thinking it's a pretty cool color. What do you think? I've got passion fruit and I've got toucan and that red piranha and starbeam four shades out of that one palette I think it looks pretty cool let me know what you think this is the first look out of that palette, and I've got the whole rest of the week coming up to do another couple of looks with it and put together another thing or two to go with my cream looks. And then we get to the fourth week of May. Now, currently, that's supposed to be the end of the He Chose What series. But, what, since people have seemed to be liking this quite a bit, we're talking about doing it once a month as we keep going, probably through the summer anyway. Because once we get past the summer, then we start getting into things like the Halloween and the um, Thanksgiving and then the Christmas stuff and that kind of thing. And it can get a little crowded on the schedule. And yes, I do kind of try to schedule some stuff here and there. Anyway, this week is also going to be the second week of the current class that I'm in in college. I go to Southern New Hampshire University online. I am in a program for an English degree focusing on creative writing, specialty on fiction. I like to write. Currently, I, the, the class is on literary or literature theory. We are currently deconstructing literary works to figure out what we think they were trying to say and how whether or not the way they said it still translates. Um, in a lot of cases, it doesn't. If you're taking a formal view from now 
you can't really get the same translation but that's a discussion for a different day anyway tell me what you think I dare you to try this yourselves no this really is a challenge get your partner your bestest buddy if you don't currently have a partner to go through your stuff and pick something get them to pick a challenge for you they don't even have to like makeup just get them involved a little bit and let's see what you do with it if you take the challenge please tag me so I know to come look y'all be good mm -hmm.